All right, we are at the brand spanking new game in town in Copenhagen, the Villa Copenhagen, Copenhagen, which is a new five-star luxury hotel at the Creme de la Creme location. I asked to get this room, by the way. They had upgraded me to something out words, but I wanted to have it a little quiet. It is a Nordic choice, or now Strawberry Hotels. So, but a little bit of an outrageous redemption at 40,000 points per night. Had a big debate about this, how I feel about the 45,000, 40,000 points per night, because it's pretty high using choice points. The price, about $470 a night. So I guess it's still worth it with the math that's still going on. So let's take a quick peek what we have. It opened you know, right before the pandemic, I would say. You've got some USBs. You've got the blinds and stuff like that. It goes up and down. Master switch. You've got uh, various things here. You've got an espresso machine with some tea in there. You've got a shoehorn and a shoe mat you've got a mini bar with some gin and vodka a bottle of champagne pile de carte salmon oh, mon dieu and some burgundy of some kind here don't want to set off the alarms where are the uh espresso capsules are they in here for that We've got a couple of books got an adjoining door not an a fan hopefully it'll be quiet it's a dnd it's an umbrella it's locked you've got a steamer what the hell is a steamer is that a hair dryer no i don't know you've got some shoe stuff you got the safe in here, going on in the drawer, you've got a Bluetooth speaker. That's the brand of this thing. Should I know? Looks fancy enough, heavy. There is a red wine, some more stuff, tea maker for the tea. Not sure if there was espresso stuff in here there's 24 hour room service and uh they got an even got their own bakery breakfast is included for everyone breakfast is at noon there's also a infinity edge pools on the top top floor in here also which i find quite interesting let's take a look at the bathroom pretty cool you got the throne you got a little thing that this looks accessible yeah they gave me an accessible room that's okay though not gonna make us think about that. Big ass towels, you got all sorts of stuff going on over here. It's the skoog, which means forest. Calm of the Boreal Forest. Scandinavian conditioner, shampoo, body wash. You got a cool tub, that's very awesome. Uh, no bars of soap though which is a little annoying, but that's okay. And uh, yeah, so let's talk about this place. It used to be the old post office, the main post office back in the day before it became a hotel. That pool that we're talking about, you can only be there for 45 minutes for free and then you gotta pay for the rest of the time, which kind of is uh, Peter Stordahn's MO, is that he is trying to be really cool about everything, but he is a little bit of a cheapskate every once in a while. I think that, as long as it's not crowded and busy up there to let people come whenever they want. 40, first 45 minutes for free, and then you gotta pay for the rest of it, which is kind of weird. Uh, but I feel like that's kind of cool to have a pool in the middle of the time. I'm gonna check it out, see what's going on with that. And uh, the breakfast is spectacular, I've heard. The property looks great, the room is great, the furnish ref refurbishments are great. I think the only thing I would put my finger on if I was to do anything in here, is to have a bar of soap for those who like that. And, uh, you know, 
It is pretty cool though. It's a minor thing. I would say that, that that's the drawback. That's pretty, pretty minor. You have a heating wall here that's cool. Heats up to, to uh, put your towels on and stuff. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, I would, uh, so far it looks great. Service was great. They have bellhops for Scandinavia with three exclamation points behind it, which I think also is really, really nice. And there you have it. Uh, the only thing is that, you, as you can see, there's no hallway. It goes straight out, not out in the hall. But I don't think this is going to be a hotel that's going to be really noisy, to be honest with you. And it is right across the street from the train station. Getting down to the track, if you know what track you're going on, it's less than a minute to get down to the track. It's the, by far the closest uh, hotel to any of the tracks. If you need to buy tickets, which you kind of can do in the app, it's very easy. Uh, you can uh, you know get it on your app or something. But I think at the end of the day, uh, I w if you have tickets bought in advance, which anybody should have, it's very, very easy to get it going from here. So this is the Villa Copenhagen in Copenhagen, capital of Denmark. This is Tommy Danielson signing off and enjoy your day.